Hello and welcome to uh, video number seven of Java FX uh, application. And in this um, video, I just want to explain how the grid pane works because I'm going to use the grid pane to create the calendar. Um, if you already know how a grid pane works, then you might want to skip to the next video. And uh, um, however, if you want to hang around and uh, comment on, you know my silly talks and my explanations, it's uh, most welcome. And uh, so here we go. So a grid pane is a container and it's laid out in a grid as I've drawn here. And uh, container is a thing or is a object where you can display information in uh, JavaFX. And uh, so in order to uh, um, use the container, we of course have to call it first, so um, in this case it's a grid pane and I called it my container uh, and of course it's a new grid pane. And now if we want to put something in there like a button or you know a label or some text, uh, um, uh, that's called a node. So we need to create a node and it could also be you know another container. Uh, um, you know, you can put a, a, a border pane inside one of these uh, um, boxes here. So, um, and that's called a node. So we need to create one first. And I'm going. I've used text in this example. So uh, we create text one. I call the text text one, and I set the text one to text. And uh, then, if we want to call it, we have to know how the grid pane works. So uh, the first column this first column and the row, they all have uh, um, coordinates. So the first coordinate for the first column would be 0 and uh, the coordinates for the next column would be 1 and the coordinates for the next column would be 2 and so on. Uh, it's the same for the rows. The first coordinate would be 0 for the first row. The second row would be 1. The third row would be 2 and so on. And uh, so if we would now want to put our text inside the first uh, uh, um, block here, or cell if you want to call it like that, we need to call the coordinates. So we need to call the my container, and we need, uh, let me just do that, and there's the example. So it's my container, and it's very simple, dot add, and then we add the node, which is in this case text underscore one, and then we need to give the coordinates, which is the column first, and then the row and uh, then it would put our text in that position. So if we then go and make another node and uh, we call this text2 and we give it some different text and uh, we then add it to the container and we then add it to column 1 and row 0 it will then of course appear in column 1 row 0. And then I've just made another example so if we then go ahead and uh, create another node, in this case I use text again, I call it text3 and I call it surf, just because I like surfing. Um, and then if we put it into the container, and this time I've put it in column 2, which is this column, and row 1, which is this row, then of course it needs to appear over there. And that's just how it, how it works. And the reason why I'm going to use it for uh, uh, my calendar is because I can put the dates in the different uh, blocks and stuff where I want to have it, and I can automate it uh, using uh, um, the uh, uh, for loop and the nested for loop. So that's what I would do in the next video. So I hope this was ex you know, understandable. I hope my explanations weren't all that uh, uh, weird, but I think it's nicely laid out and I hope you enjoyed it and um, happy coding.